Hello, peeps. And welcome to another Power Packed Phillips podcast. Six to ten, the whole has been out for you and Check it out. There will be Dr. Splatoon tomorrow with yours truly, Mr. Phillips. Also, I'll be keeping an eye out for week eight scores. podcast we talked about compound inequalities more specifically we said compound inequalities with the word and we have an overlap so this would be an example of a compound inequality that represents the word and it overlaps the second kind of compound inequality would be for the word or the word or if the compound inequality has the word or, we're going to have one inequality going to the right, one inequality going to the left, and we will have a gap between them. And compound inequalities overlap. Compound inequalities with the word or go to the right, to the left, and they have a gap in between them. Both are compound inequalities. Let's do an example of a compound inequality with the word or. Please write down 2x plus 3 is less than 9. Write the word or 3x minus 6 is greater than 12. Just like we've done in our previous podcast, we're going to solve the inequalities like they were an equation. So I'm going to solve the two inequalities separately. So let's do the one on the left first. I'm going to do the inverse of adding 3, which is subtracting 3. I do that on both sides. Bada bing, bada boom. These cancel out. 9 minus 3 gives us 6. Bring down your inequality sign. Bring down the 2x. They're touching. That means multiplication. I divide both sides by 2. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Bada bing, bada boom. 6 divided by 2 gives you 3. Bring down your inequality sign, bring down the variable x. Now let's solve our other inequality. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. These cancel. Thank you very much. Bada bing bada boom. 12 plus 6 gives me 18. Bring down the 3x. Divide both sides of your inequality by 3. 18 divided by 3 gives us 6. Bring down your inequality. Bring down the variable x. The question is, do we flip the inequality signs? Did you say yes? No, we don't flip the inequality signs. Why do we not flip the inequality signs? Oh, yeah, you're right. We divide it by a positive number. We divide it by a positive number. So you are correct. We do not flip the inequality signs here. No flipping. Nice job. So our solutions are x is less than 3. Remember, Pac-Man eats the larger number or the larger variable. So 3 is bigger than x. Or x is greater than 6. Pac-Man eats the letter x because x is greater than 6. So how will we graph it? Well, let's graph x is less than 3. This will be an open circle. There's my open circle. And the graph goes to the left. 2, 1, 0 blah, 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 are all less than 3. 
now let's graph x is greater than 6. Open circle, 7, 8, 9, this inequality goes to the right. Notice that I have a gap here. That gap is because of the word or. Inequalities that have the word or will have a gap. I like to think of it this way. You could have ice cream or, that's your gap, you could have a cake. Mmm. I'm going with a cake because that looks like an awesome cake. Thanks for watching. See ya.